happy February, folks. It's Don Ward McCarthy here with 311 Realty Group, bringing you your Bluredale Village update for January of 2023. My God, it's 2023 already. Well, we'll get to the house sales, condo sales, and to our aggregate six months perspective of Bluredale Village in a second. I just wanted to advise, watch our GTA video, please, because we do get dig into some of the, the weeds in regards to inflation, interest rates, what economists are saying, what do we expect in regards to what the, the outlook for the rest of the year and into 2024 will look like? Because I think the, uh, the reflection of what's happening there will be across the board and we'll see that trickle down into our neighborhoods. And of course, there are downloads for all of this data as well too. You can just download, click on the links wherever you're receiving this. Let's jump into it. So there was one house sale in uh, Bloordale Village. It was 37 Pauline Avenue, property that needed a lot of work. It was also an estate sale. It listed at 1.2 million and in nine days, it sold for a million sixty seven. I felt that was a bit short of what could have possibly been done in regards to, I think the 1.1s should have been the target here plus, but hey, uh, it is what it is. Advantage with this one, I felt, and, and this is my argument towards this, is this was on the east side of Pauline. So it does have the laneway there at the back. So this also had ability for two car parking garage. And there was a garage there too as well. So two car parking garage. Let's move over to condos. There were four condo sales. The lowest sale was at 812 uh, Lansdowne Avenue. This is Lansdowne just south of DuPont. The two buildings there on the um, the west side, 8112, the one on the south. There was a unit there on the ground floor, took a long time to sell, 78 days DOM, days on market, sold for just 4% shy of their asking. They just had to find the right buyer who was, who was actually happy probably that they had a way to walk out without having to take stairs and stuff like that. The most expensive sale was an 816 Lansdowne Avenue, unit 215. That was listed at 600 and sold for 2% below asking at 590 in 12 days. So again, signs of our market picking up some vibrancy in the, in the condo market. Let's look at our six month aggregate chart for Bluedale Village. So right here, why are we looking at that? We're determining whether we're in a buyer's, balanced or a seller's market. What does that mean? If we look at our real estate market, we look at sales. If stuff on average is taking, say, over 24 weeks to sell, that's definitely a buyer's market. Anywhere from 24 to 12 weeks, that's a balanced market. And under 12 weeks, that's a seller's market. Think back to when stuff was selling for a week, a year plus ago. You know, uh, that's a market that's so, so, it's such a seller's market. We've only got a week or two weeks of inventory before stuff is sold out. Here we can see that the average list sale ratio is 100%. This is also a reflection that agents are adopting a more traditional style of selling instead of listing low and selling for anywhere from 10 to 40% above. They're listing at what they feel they could get in the market with some room for negotiation. Average days on market for Bluedale Village, 12 days. So stuff's still, in, still selling quite quickly. So I would argue, quite a, a good market it's it's you know it's the buyer's market but very close to a seller's market we're definitely in there so there you have it folks that's our update for Bluredale village do reach out to us we're expecting a very vibrant uh, spring market but we're here for your whole journey of ownership not just buying or selling of course do reach out to us if that's the case we're happy to do an evaluation for you anything at all you need in regards to real estate any questions that's where why we're here that's why we're called 311 realty group ciao ciao